gonna go through my breaks and find a good one to start off with. I'm also experimenting with a lot of other stuff here. I have a lot of other ideas for videos and video series that I want to do on my channel. And so this being the next one, I kind of want to go through the process of just creating a tight beat of an artist, of someone who I enjoy. Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Live the Noise. My name is Raul. Today, I wanted to experiment a little bit and try something different. I'll be creating a J. Cole type beat. I just kind of wanted to bring up the conversation of tight beat instrumentals. I've been looking into it, and I know there's one side of it that think it's a whack thing, it's unoriginal, and then there's the other side, which uh, kind of speaks for itself. You know, there's a lot of uh, beat makers that are using the type track beat, whether it be for a marketing tool or whatever other purpose. You know, it probably works great for, for marketing and get your name out there and your productions out there to the people that need it or the people that want it. I've really been considering the, the type beat in order to build my skills up. It's one of the things I've really been thinking about because I want this whole YouTube channel for me to be a whole growing process, a learning process. That's why I don't, I don't think this is a whack thing to do the tight beats. Maybe people say, you know, it's not real or it's not true to self. But if I'm creating tight beats in the style of artists that I listen to, you know, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. To begin with, when you start creating beats, you do that naturally, unintentionally. You're imitating beat makers or artists and sounds that you enjoy anyways. And that's how we all get started, I think, whether it be intentional or not. The whole idea of not being original when you're doing tight beats, I don't think that's true either. Because when it comes down to an artist or rapper, they don't have just one style. So you may be as a producer that you lean towards one specific type of sound that that artist also leans towards but whatever it may be about those artists and certain elements of those sounds it may become a part of what you're doing and what your style is anyhow i just want to move on with it this will be a j cole type beat so let's check it out yeah j cole used that one i know that honey drippers yeah All right, so I got this drum break looped up. Um, one of the things that sticks out to me when I hear J. Cole production, I love it when he uses uh, pianos and strings. So that's my next move. I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with some piano chords. So I have a drum break, and instead of just going with a piano, I decided to layer that piano with an organ. And now from here, I'm going to go with some strings. trying to come up with something uh, I get anxious like just trying to uh, to make a choice you know so I got a couple string parts I'm trying to figure out how to put these parts together because I got this real simple kind of loop thing that's just kind of going and then I also have this I don't know what you call that kind of like a run I guess I don't know there might just be different parts of the beat I do like the way that these two sound, the strings with the organ piano um, layers. And then... And then the same I could do with the other string part, I got the... So I have a couple ideas here, the next thing that I'll do is uh, mess around with some bass parts. So now I got a couple bass
bass parts. I played one that's, I think you would call it like a staccato uh, kind of sound. Short notes. And then I got one that's more of a legato type of long notes going on. So the last thing I did was this. I don't know what it was called, but it's like a synthesized pizzicato string. I muted out the drum break, brought in some one shot, a kick and a snare, filtered the drum break, turned it down a bit, chopped it in half, only wanted half of that, added some crashes. So I got uh, kind of an arrangement going. I got an intro, a hook, and a verse. So I'll play them out for you so you can hear them. Uh, leading into each other. I think I'll even turn this break down. Once again for joining me and thank you for joining me on my very first episode of the tight beat series and this has been my j cole beat now is it a j cole beat what do you think leave a comment who do you hear rapping on this i can tell you for sure this is a j cole inspired beat because j cole does inspire me he has influenced me and i do make beats so that does make sense okay so i love a challenge if you guys want to also leave a comment on uh maybe a tight beat idea for me leave a suggestion in the comments and I will consider it if it's somebody that I listen to and somebody that I appreciate. Once again, it's been Raul. This is Lifted Noise. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace. <laughs>